Uh, hello, this is Tola from Trifold Productions. Um, yeah, I haven't done a tutorial in a while, but I'm just going to do one for Lightworks because uh, I came across some issues uh, when it came to uploading um, sound with AVCHD um, format, which is MTS2 or MTS. Um, yeah, as for you know, people that don't know, Lightworks is a, an open source program that apparently has done a lot of work in the industry. And uh, to get to download this program, just go to lightworks.com and click on downloads. And then this will come up. And then you just click on the current download you want to download from, which is, you know, right here. Just click download. And then um, once you do that, you'll come up with this. Not this exact, you know, layout because this is my own personal a pro uh, uh, film we're working on right now, uh, but it'll come, you know, it'll fill up your screen like this. But um, if you notice, whenever you upload videos into Lightworks with a, uh, a AVCHD format, there's no sound. And uh, in the forums, um, let me back click this once again. If you go to the form, it, it says, to my knowledge, all AVCHD content uses AC3 for the audio because it's compressed. Most likely, you didn't, don't have a de decoder for that installed. So, what you would have to do is download AC3, an AC3 filter, and you click on that link there, and it'll take you to this site. And you download that onto your system. The main issue I had with it was that I didn't know how to use it. I mean... When you click on it, this comes up, but there is no input. You know what I mean? There's no input where you can input a file, audio file, or anything. There seems to be some outputs here. Uh, let me see. If you click towards the end here, it has something, uh, some kind of output format towards the end, but I didn't never knew how, knew how to use it. But, you know, I found out how to use it. And what you do is that you go to where you store your audio files that are in M MTS. You double click on it. And then it will open up uh, the file in your browser or on your computer. And then you'll see this little icon pop up, pop up at the bottom. You click on that, which is the AC3 filter. And then there it is. It's, it's working. And then you adjust all your filters on your main. You can adjust all the levels here, up, down, the master. On the mix, you can do the same thing, up, down, whatever you want to do. You adjust it according to the way you want it to sound. And after that's done, you click Apply, and you click OK. And then you close out uh, that uh, video. And then when you open up Lightworks, this is the video uh, before the AC3 filter was applied. And now this is the same video you can see, 00110, 00110. This is the one that has the AC3 filter applied to it. And you drag it in. Oh, wait a minute. Let me uh, uh, move down, move the, uh, the cursor down a little bit. Let me go back to my main file here. And you drag it in. And now you can see that there's a frequency in the sound bar. This is before the filter this is after the filter so just to go over what we mentioned before if you want to use an AC3 filter decoder for um, AV CHD videos in Lightworks go through the process download your decoder open up your uh, your video wherever you store to open it up uh, in your on your computer go down to where you know your customizable icons are click on the filter it comes up click apply okay close that out close out to your uh, video import it into lightworks there you go then drag it into your edit uh, browser <coughs> then you've got sound uh, hope this helps if you have any questions concerning lightworks just uh, leave a comment uh, in the comment section thanks again this is Tola from Trifold Productions I uh, hope this has helped uh, whoever needs help with it, and uh, have a great day.